Sunday, it's time for some Guild Wars. Looks like my team has made a really good start. Left plenty of survivors. And this is typically a good idea to do for the less confident players. Um, I intended to stream at this time. I wanted to have a lay-in this morning. Um, so... I guess I'm going to be doing some of the survivor battles, which is is great. It's been a long time since I've done those. Let's uh, let's get to it. Let's see what Suki here has got in store for us. Carl is the leader. Very good choice. Flammable weapon as well. Mercer has got the decimator. Big, nice. uh, big blast pattern there. Ooh, what's this? Terminus rifle. Oh yeah, that ignites things. Large caliber. So this person's clearly thought about who they are having as their defenders. Taking them on, we're going to have Guardian Carol, Burnout Rifle, it's infinite range. So useful. Yumiko is here to give us some extra shots. Blue Vortex Nail Gun for her. And Old Aaron here. He's kind of our canary. Now, if we need to put anybody out there and we're perhaps not sure if they're going to get taken out, it's, it's going to be Aaron. He is the more disposable character here because sometimes it's kind of handy this this there's just no two ways about it this person's clearly thought about what they're doing so um looking forward to this and it's something that people have asked oh hey could you could you show us doing some survivor battles again it's not something that i tend to do i tend to be very confident taking out the missions my gosh, we're going to have to get a little bit closer because we just, we can't we're going to aim at old Mercer there. That's good, he's KO'd. We'll advance, we'll keep Overwatch on. I'm worried about the, uh, the old Decimator, of course, that Mercer might employ against us. Good, good. He's the one I was really concerned about. So we've taken out Mercer. And of course, that means that there's only two survivors left. That means that the walkers are more of a threat for our enemies. What we'll do is we'll wait. We'll see if they turn up, as Carl has here. And we're staying at extreme range. This is how... You do it. Okay, I'm just gonna stay here. We're just gonna we're, we're gonna keep our distance. Maybe we will advance at some point. I don't know if perhaps they're having to deal with walkers as well. There we go. Dwight has appeared. take him out with Carol. She is the farthest away. That means that he doesn't have any chance of retaliating. Because, of course, he does have that trait. And that's how you frustrate people when you are designing your defender team. Make sure that you've got people with retaliate and revenge and, and, and stuff like that. Got another great defender team here. Yumiko, save his handgun. Good choice. Princess... The bulldozer shotgun, maybe just a little too close range for my liking. Sasha, that's scary if she can get in range. Let's keep the team. Now, we're not going to be earning an awful lot of points from doing the survive battles. Um, they have to be done so that you can unlock the C stages. And completing A, B and C, that's how you get you know, a winning set of points. Somebody has to do the survivor battles. They don't get as many points, but of course, any rewards that you do have are boosted by 50% if you win the Guild War battle. Ooh, nice detail. How did how did somebody get that chap up there? Poor bloke. Right, we have a target. We stay at range. We take him down one at a time. If they come rushing for us, should be able to get them. I'm going to have to move just a little closer. 
Be handy if you could get rid of those portraits on the HUD. Give yourself just a little bit more screen sometimes when you're really engaging at range. Hi, Yumiko. Hi, Yumiko. And again, this is this is where these infinite range weapons, the burnout, um, starbound, they just feel like cheating. So, was that number two? Yes, it was. Okay, so we've got a team here that just has not been uh, thought about, really. This shouldn't be a problem. I mean, you never want to completely underestimate whatever it is you're up against. But we obviously have lots and lots of big guns. They've got spiky things. They're bringing spiky things to a gunfight. Come on, load up. Oh, Huntsman Darrow's got the, uh, the Joe Biden. Huh. Don't worry, guys. Maybe you can get to us before we gun you down. Could happen. I mean, I'm perfectly happy to stay here. Eugene is, is clearly going to be out of range. We'll make a slow advance. The last thing that we want to do, of course, is get too close. Hey, Daryl. Seems fitting that Carol is taking you out. Okay, I thought that we only killed two. Guess we got them all. One more to go, and then 20C is open, and we'll actually do some missions. Okay, here we go. This is... Yeah, okay, so that's Yumiko, Sasha, and Princess again. Didn't have a problem last time. But as a man once said, don't get cocky, kid. Yumiko in a lawyer's outfit. I just I just love that. Going to battle in a business suit. Classy. Oh, hello. There you are. Right, now we should... Yes, we got Yumiko as well. Just keep our distance. We got one left. Sasha. Let's keep our distance. Let's see if she pokes our, her head out again. She does. And if... If you want to do survive battles and you don't have these incredible weapons like the Blue Vortex Nail Gun, the Burnout Rifle, like, you know, completely get that. They are unique weapons that were, um, they're tricky to acquire. But the principle of keeping your distance and outwitting the AI, that is a strategy that you can always employ. <laughs> 